guys. So, you know, it can be frustrating when during training you just can't seem to make a technique work. And inevitably you start to ponder, well, why isn't this move working for me? You know, and in worst case scenarios you start to go, well, I suck. Um, it's not true. So fortunately, diagnosing the problem with technique can be solved in a pretty simple four-step process. Uh, all it's going to take is you putting your ego aside and, and really self-examining your jiu-jitsu. So the most common reason, right, reason number one uh, for failure of a technique is that you've simply overlooked some important details. So review the technique, um, examine your notes, uh, review the lesson a few more times, and, and just be certain that you've absorbed every detail of the technique. If that doesn't work, um, examine reason number two, which may be your training partner. Um, you know, so many techniques are responsive in nature, and they call for a specific course of action from um, my opponent in order for them to execute properly. So for this reason, it's important that your training partner is doing the right thing for the move you're trying to, to practice. For example, if, if a sweep is to be executed when your opponent is driving forward on you and, and your opponent is just sitting back on their heels, bored, thinking about what happened earlier in their day, well, then you're certain to experience technique failure um, in this instance. And, and that's going to translate through a lot of the moves you drill. So make sure your, your, your training partner's uh, doing what they're supposed to be doing. Another reason is bad timing. You know, timing in jiu-jitsu is critical. And if you're ex executing the steps correctly, um, but it's still not working, then your technique is probably off, or I'm sorry, your timing is probably off in the technique. So continue, you know, examining that technique over and over and over, and going for it over and over and over, and keep failing over and over and over, and then you'll develop the timing through failure. And lastly, physical limitations. If one to three aren't responsible for technique failure, then it's time to explore the very real possibility that you just can't perform the technique because of a physical limitation you have. Um, you know, maybe you got a bad back, a bad knee, uh, a bad arm, whatever. But if, if the physical limitation is the course of action, it is, is the reason why you're not uh, pulling off the technique successfully, then it's time for you to, to begin experimentation with leverage, with timing, um, and modify the move for your physical limitation. And if you still can't do it, then it's not part of your arsenal. You move on and find a better technique to replace it. See everybody on the mats.